zero dollar annual fee, great for renters and non-renters, a great solo travel card, and wait, 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 hold up, save that for the end. First, we need to discuss the key details, and in this episode of Before You Apply, we'll break down the hype, controversy, and stuff you won't find on a website about the built MasterCard. More importantly, what you need to know before you add it to your setup. But before we get into all that, hi, I'm Lonnie, and if you're thinking of getting the built card, then you're also trying to extend your points value. And you're not alone, because before most people think of getting a new card, they consider one of two things. How can I get more points? And how can I justify the annual fee? If you've been here, then this is the video for you. And to hit the big question first, what is the built MasterCard? Now, I've explained this before in this previous video that Built is not a credit card company. It's a rewards company that has a credit card. And I stand by that. They launched back in 2021 as the card that lets you earn points from paying your rent. But there's so much more to this card than just that, even if you don't rent. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, before you hit apply, let's talk about it. To start, Full transparency, I already have this card. Don't worry, today I'm gonna to leave my experiences out and provide an unbiased perspective. And to do that, I'm gonna break this down into five key parts in which most people consider a new card. And that's the welcome bonus, annual fee, earning and redeeming points, any credits or perks involved, insurances and warranties, and I'll throw a little something something extra that no one seems to be talking about for some reason, but I will. To kick it off, we'll discuss the welcome bonus and annual fee. This will be a short discussion as the built card does not have either. That's right, no welcome bonus. There is a possibility that if you're approved, you could receive a five points per dollar on everything but rent for your first five days upon activating the card, but this is not guaranteed, so I'm not gonna consider it. Now, many see not having a welcome bonus as a negative strike on the card, and I get it. Other $0 annual fee cards still come with a small welcome bonus, and that's true, but those cards also have a spin requirement, whereas here, there is no spin requirement. So unless you're managing a 524 strategy or working on a welcome bonus on another card, take care of that first, by the way, you'll instantly start earning points that have a good value right out of the gate, which takes me to my next point, the points themselves. Speaking of value, Bill has what's considered as one of the most valuable card reward points on the market. That's right, some even say just as valuable or even more valuable than Chase or Amex points. And I agree, it's up there. But there are two sides to points value. There's the earning side and then the redeeming side. Both are critically important. Let's start with the earning side, shall we? To get the elephant out of the room, the main draw to the built card is how easy it is to earn points. Let me explain. First, card holders can earn one point per dollar when paying their monthly rent, which is easily one of the highest monthly expenses for most people. Then on top of that, you'll earn three points per dollar on dining, two points on travel, and one point for all other purchases. Pretty standard so far, right? Well, to add to that, on the first day of every month, which they call rent day, Built doubles all the points you earn from your spend with an asterisk, actually two. Double points on everything except rent and only up to 10,000 points, which shouldn't be a problem, but if you're saving a large purchase for the first of the month, just be aware. But this means on the first of every month for all the other bonus categories, you're getting two points for every purchase at a minimum, four points for travel and six points for dining. Hold on, there's a third asterisk. To be eligible to even receive your points, you do have to have at least five transactions in the month. Not a big deal as your rent will count as one transaction, but be cognizant of this so you don't miss out on your points. I recommend setting your card to a few auto pay options for some of your bills, but I'll come back to this later. But for now, let's flip that coin over to the redeeming point side. If there are plenty of ways to redeem your bill points. I'm going to toss out using your points for statement credits or to pay your rent because it's a very low value. Look, you can do it, but I wouldn't recommend it because you could be getting more value from those points. For example, as with most travel cards, you can transfer those points out to partners. And Built has some of the best transfer partners within the travels game, hands down. They have American, they have United, they have Marriott, IHG, Hyatt, I know a lot of you love Hyatt, which makes this a nice companion to your Chase cards. Also, similar to other cards, Built has their own travel portal, which you can book flights, hotels, cars, resorts, even various activities such as sports games at times or theme park tickets. Yup, Disney and Universal tickets are covered. And as a coaster junkie, 
I need to get on that Jurassic Park roller coaster ASAP. Wanna come? No, I'm serious. Who's coming with me? Now, the average value for most redemptions directly from Bill in those last two is roughly 1.25 cents per point, which may not be considered high, but it's still higher than the value at which you earned the points and may prevent you from taking extra money out of pocket. Yo, Disney is expensive. Let's be real. Once again, before someone types in the comments below that they wouldn't use this option, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I just want to educate you on your options. In fact, if you already have the bill card, put that down in the comments with how you used your points. I'm sure it'll help someone out. And if you're thinking about getting the card, I left my referral link down there too. Using my link supports the channel and I appreciate it. Then another way to support the channel is by hitting that subscribe button. And if you're a roller coaster fiend like I am, or just like to have fun, hit that like button and let's get back to the video and the coaster. Okay, moving on, let's talk about the quirks, perks, and credits. And honestly, this is one of the many reasons why I like Bill. They're different, they do things different, and the credit card game needs some different right now. Let's start off with rent day rewards. I've already touched on this a bit ago. Rent day is just Bill's name for the first of the month. This is when they double the points on all your transactions, once again, except for rent. But in addition to that, they offer members a few ways to save on rent, other purchases, or because I'm a nerd, earn some extra points via a few gamified ways. Up first is not really free points, but it could get you free rent via the Rent Free Game Show. This is a small game you can play every month where a few lucky selected winners will get their rent paid by bill. Depending on how much you pay for rent, it is capped at a certain amount. The second game, which the nerd in me personally enjoys, is the Points Quest. This is just a trivia game where the questions are based on topics that are relevant to the month or season. The more questions you get right, the more points you get. No purchase required, so literally free points. All right, another way to get some extra points is Bill Dining, where when dining at select restaurants, you can earn up to 10 points per dollar. And also, Bill Wallet where you can add all your other cards and earn extra points on select purchases, even if you don't use your built card to pay. There's also Lyft and SoulCycle partnerships where you'll earn extra points when booking a ride or taking a class. And we're not done yet. Honestly, for a $0 annual fee, this card has a lot to consider before applying. But there is one thing Bill has that no other card offers, and frankly, not too many people talk about it either, and that's status. Yes, Bill has status tiers for card holders who earn certain amount of points or achieve a predetermined cash spend. Why is this important, you ask? Great question. Well, remember, we were talking about Bill's transfer partners earlier. At times, on rent day, Bill will occasionally provide transfer bonuses or status matches to select partners. But depending on your status, you could change the bonus percentage where blue tier members may receive 25% bonus, but a platinum member, Bill's highest tier, could receive 100% transfer bonus. In fact, at the time of this recording, Bill is providing platinum members 12 months of KLM Air France Gold status, which will get you check bag perks, priority check-in, early boarding, and international lounge access. Don't act like you don't like lounge access. Some of y'all will get a card specifically for lounge access. I'm gonna leave that right there. But another status benefit is that you'll also earn interest on your points. Don't get excited. This will not be an astronomical amount to brag to your friends about. It'll probably land you somewhere between 10 and 100 points a month, but it's still extra points that carry value, so I won't complain. We're entering the final stretch to ensure this card warrants a place in your wallet. You 100% saw what I did there this time. Our last consideration today is the insurances and warranties. I mean, it is a travel card, right? Here are a few perks to be aware of. Trip cancellation and interruption protections. Trip delay reimbursement for delays of six hours or more. No foreign transaction fees, that's a good one. Rental car collision damage waiver. Purchase protection against theft and damage within the first 90 days. Cell phone protection up to $800 when you pay your bill with the bill card. It should go without saying that all of these need to be paid with your bill card to be eligible. And lastly, being that this is a World Elite MasterCard, you'll also get access to the World Elite Concierge. Like any other concierge, they'll assist you with various culinary, entertainment, or travel experiences. Okay, let's wrap this up with a new segment where I provide 10 hot takes to hang your hat on in 30 seconds. We'll call this 1030. I know, not a very original name. 
Anyway, let's throw a timer up and go. Zero dollar annual fee, great card for renters and non-renters, great solo travel card, no foreign transaction fee, which is awesome for international travel. Once again, zero dollar annual fee card, great dining card, primary rental car insurance, great as a companion travel card, even if you don't rent, great as a first or early card, can protect your credit utilization with Built Protect, which would bypass your credit limit and take rent directly from your checking account, and you still get the points, and it's a metal card, no embossed numbers, done. You can't deny this card packs a lot for $0 annual fee. Check out this video for even more info, or this one to learn what not to do with your points. Also, let me know what card we should break down in the next episode of Before You Apply. Maybe one I don't have yet? Catch you in the next one. Peace.